What's going on guys? So we've made it to this point. I've got the orange completely built and I've got the press box wrapped around at least the front sides of it. Today we're going to start. I've built one TV, put one TV screen in. I want to show you how I put the jumbotrons or the video boards in and how I measure them. And then we're going to get started building the back side of the press boxes. So, in putting the jumbotrons in, we'll pull up our map here. First we need to identify their location. These are pretty easy to identify for this stadium because they're just plastered into the sides uh, right here and right here. There's two alternate ways to do this. Uh, measure, you can measure them physically, but most of this stuff is published. So what you have to do is go in and type in college video boards uh, video boards size. There's a nice little article that comes up, list of college football stadium video boards. You search the one that you're looking for, Oklahoma Stadium, or State, I'm sorry, and it comes up that the boards are 22, or 42 by 22.5, and that is in feet. So we know that all we have to do is divide those by 3 to get the number of blocks they are. I believe it was 42 by 22.5. So traditionally, 42 by 22.5 would be 22.5, 21 is 7, so we'll make it 8 high. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 42 divided by 3 is 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So our, normally, I would say the video board is like this. Most of them are built straight to the field. These, however, are not. They are built in the corners. As you will quickly be able to tell, I can't just go 14 laterally. I can't just do this. And this goes with anything you have to build uh, at an angle. You have to do a little geometry. Go back to ninth or 10th grade whenever you took it, or maybe before before or after then, depending on your country of residence, you can see that this one, although they're the same measurements, is quite a bit larger than this one. That's because one Minecraft block from there to there is actually 1.414. Because of the way the Pythagorean theorem works. If you measure, if, a, if this was one single Minecraft block, This was a Minecraft block. Obviously, from this point to this point is going to be a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That's 1.414 for a single Minecraft block. So all you have to do in the in the angled situations, especially if it's angled one by one, is that we're going to say this 1.414, 1.414 1 is divide 14 by 1.4 which gives us 10. That's how many blocks you need to go sideways. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Chop off all of this nonsense. And you can see that those are pretty much the same size. So that's what we've done up here. So these are 10 by 8, 10 diagonal by 8 high. The height that doesn't change, obviously. So what I did was build it in, I pretty much didn't have to do very much. The, the space is very convenient. I'm going to show you exactly how I built that. The space is really convenient already. Uh, it, I think it's, uh, let's see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 high. We needed to be 8 high, so that was a pretty easy thing to do. Then it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 wide. Look at that. I've done it perfectly. I just built those in. I guesstimated for, by measuring on Google Maps. I started with this, and then I measured out on Google Maps about how far I thought that was. 
That lets me know I'm building things right when things just magically work out like this. I didn't pre-plan this in the video. I didn't rebuild anything right here. I, I went over and put that screen in, and I was like, wow, that works. That lets me know that I'm building things right. All I have to do in this, these are extremely small video boards. Uh, the ones I built for other stadiums uh, dwarf these in comparison. It specifically, it comes to mind that the Baylor and the Texas ones were enormous. I had to use fill commands because it would have taken me a long time to actually fill them. So the video boards go in like this. And then I decided to put a layer of sandstone around them like so. And a layer of sandstone there. I actually think I decided to divert this out one. So just like that that and I just went ahead and chopped this and rebuilt it in one. I'm changing the structure of the curve a little bit but one block isn't going to make a significant difference either way for your stadium. So one extra block in the center. And let's see, we need some cobble, some stone brick, I mean, and another piece of sandstone right here. And then you can put whatever you want on the video board. Sometimes I put like zero to zero, or there's not much room, so it's hard to put anything substantive. Uh, I thought about just putting OK for Oklahoma, but it's Oklahoma State. I don't really want them to get offended by the fact that it says OK. Because they're not Oklahoma, they're Oklahoma State. And maybe I, maybe I could put an OKS in here. I also thought about just building that S. I could probably build that S in there. OK. But we're going to leave it like that for now, and we might change something in the future. So that is pretty much that. We're going to put all these stairs and stuff in later. You can see I'm starting to experiment with what those might look like right there. And that's a lot of Minecraft is when you're building stuff like this is experimentation. But what we're going to do now is kind of start getting an idea how big a press box is. And we pull up our trusty map for that. On the top here, we can see that this it's got a sandstone ring around it that's about two blocks wide, maybe maybe three, but probably two. And the overall thing is 77 feet. Actually, I take that back. It does look a little bit narrower right here, and maybe that that is straight. Now, let's look at this. Let's look from... Maybe here to here. That's about 66. Let's go to a random spot over here. Yeah, I think I think it's 66. And then there's this extra front part that's a little bit wider than the rest of the turn. Okay. So if it's 66, that's 22, and then this juts out about three extra boxes. I think if that curve continued, it would probably end up being about right there. That's that three extra box. So let's do that. Let's do 22 extras into these things right here. So And that's uh, outside sandstone layer. Looks like a lot of black wool, and then two inside sandstone layers. So... First, we'll do this 25 uh, block thing. There's clearly two sandstone layers. 1, 2, and then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1 sandstone layer. So that's about how wide it'll be in that particular part. But as for the rest of it, it was 22. So I've measured out the two sides, and the outside ring will be 88. 22 off of that side and that side in the same dimensions that we were building the stands. So we're going to go to Mineconics and put our 88 
circle in. And we're going to build that 88 circle in the same way that we were building the stands. Okay, so that matched up perfectly. I'm going to add the second layer to the inside, then I'm going to repeat the curve on that side, and we'll evaluate from there. The next thing we want to do is look at where these two buildings are. So, if we go into our 3D view, we can see that we want to kind of measure out where these things are. We start by figuring out how far they are in a straight line. About 55 blocks from this, or 55 the center which is 18 blocks then I want to figure out how far off the back it comes this is about 24 blocks so 18 blocks over and eight blocks back and I'm gonna guess that it's eight blocks forward no it's a little more forward 11 blocks forward we're going to have to think about an angle here, too, because that's not entirely straight. Okay, so we know it's 18 blocks off the center. Hoping this is not at 18. Okay, so it's on this one. One, two, three, four. Count that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We know that it's... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 extended. We also know that it is about 40 feet wide. It's going to give us about 13 feet, 13 blocks wide. So. so we're about 13 blocks wide. And now we need to contemplate some angle. I don't think there's very much angle to this building. So I've decided on the tilt of the building. I think we should do it three over for this first one, and probably the second one as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six gives us the appropriate amount of blocks. Now we want to measure this 13, and we're going to do it the same way. Uh, it said 13, but I think we're going to go with 12 just for the sake of congruency. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to push this back. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And this should come in. Three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. That is our building number one. Then there is a, what appears to be about a eight block gap. We're making this a little smaller, so we might want to make it just a touch bigger. A nine block gap, and the exact same thing happens again. Keep it on the same tilt. Or do we? Yeah, about the same tilt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do about right there. Corner, and then we'll cross it just like that. Just like we did the other one. Six. One, two, three, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so our large buildings will go like that. Take a look at those in 3D now to kind of get an estimate on how tall they are. This is the probably 
a little bit of a tough part. I have to uh, conceptualize how big I want this. So let's say I want that to be three wide. And I want, so that goes around three wide. Dang it. That's three wide. That's probably three more. So I probably want it, probably want it six off. I want to add six blocks here, and it looked like that one was brick. I think I want one, two, and three, and four, five, and six. Pretty clear some black wool goes inside. We'll do the other one the same way we did this one. And I'm gonna build the other side the exact same way I just built this one. That's where we're at guys, we've got the tops of some buildings built. Now we're going to connect this like we said, it extended a little further than the curves did, so it looked like it extended pretty straight, so we're just going to connect this straight for now. If something happens to change our mind there, which conveniently connects right into that. I didn't plan that. Oh, I've missed. This is uh, very awful news. I have missed. Wow. Okay. All right. Problem solved. Crisis averted. And delete this little guy now. And that's where our roof will come out to. We could put that in pretty simply. By closing up these ends. And measuring back to this, we know that's 32, negative 17. We can go from here and do 50 or fill 53, 52, positive 17 to 132, 52, negative 17 with wool 15. As you can probably tell, I butchered that fill command, so, but it's not the worst thing in the world. So there we go. That's where we're at. Oh, I've got a little bit left here. I beg your pardon. A little bit of cleanup to do. We've got to decide where this uh, runs across to before we finish up this little point. And I'm actually probably deleting that prematurely because it looks like is slightly raised and on the same maybe one back one two three four four like that I don't really know if it's one back it needs to be three three and two that doesn't make a lot of sense That's how it, you know what, I kind of built that one too far back, but it'll be okay. Unfortunately, I have an odd number going here, so it's okay if we connect maybe like that, and then 
Let's keep the symmetry. That. Okay, yeah, I like that. And we'll fill this black wool in here. Oh, that, this was slightly raised, though. Raised off the roof, it looks a little bit, because you can see a... Oh, yeah, it's clearly raised. So there might be... There's a... There might be something like this going on back here. And then a... Light blob with the roof. Low. And then... That should be perfect. You can see what I'm looking at here. I'm looking at that. There's that. Okay, then we'll rectify the rest of that later. Alright, so that's where we begin. The outside of our stadium. Take a look at just a point of reference here. So that's about where we're at. As you can see, there's a lot of sandstone work to be done. There's a lot of work here to be done. Specifically, I think we could probably put these three brick columns in pretty quickly. Those go all the way to the ground. We'll have to figure out where ground level is. That can be extremely challenging. Um, there's definitely a lot of work left to be done. Let's go ahead and put these poles in and then run the corners down to the ground. We'll call that a day. That pole is clearly on zero, zero. We'll say that that's one, two, three, four, like that. And then the space between them is about seven blocks. But we can't do a four because it's zero, zero. So we'll just say it's one. That's fine. Zero. Space and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do it like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, that should be sufficient. When we come back next time, hopefully we'll finish these four towers up and maybe just build in the entire front here. And we'll just be filling those straight down. That can take a while. So we'll fill the, at least fill the front sides, depending on maybe and design the front of one. Something like that. We'll be working with this front gate next time. We might get it all done. Might not. I might fill some of these off of uh, video and then we'll come back to it. But I think that's going to be all for this episode. Still have to come back and do some staring and tunneling. Which, as you can see, I'm not looking forward to. I'm kind of putting it off. For now, this is where we're at. And next episode, hopefully, we'll get that front gate finished. Hope you enjoyed and I hope you'll tune in next time.